Hello everyone, how are you? Nice to see you again. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for all the new subscribers that came to my channel and thank you for all the previous subscribers that stay here and support me. I'm Mariste from Greece and I'm here to present you a very easy tutorial on how to make uh, these beautiful envelopes and they are very easy, very quick and um, it's part of the tutorials that I'm doing to show you some basic structures for your junk journals or other projects and most of them are not inspired by me this is actually, I have seen it from a card maker some years ago from a German, I think, card maker, German lady many years ago, it was two or three years ago it's very very easy and um, after I will show you this, I will explain to you how you can make, and um, I will do another tutorial explaining to you how you can make those as trifold, trifold. So these envelopes, as you can see, I make them to be trifold. So this will be another version, version, version of a trifold envelope. So this is one. One version will be opening, you have to open them, they will be envelopes that close completely. I won't close them all now because I don't want to waste your time and it will close like that. And the other version, the other version is this one. This is also a trifold, it opens like that. But these ones are open, you, you, can, you don't have to open them, they have three sides that are already glued like that and you have a trifold like this so this is my version of a trifold envelope and I will do another tutorial of this to show you two different tutorials on how to do this one that you have to open it and this one that's already glued but now we will learn I will show you for those that don't know it, the basic structure of it. So as you can see, the basic structure is an envelope that is made for from four discs. You can use any paper you wish and it can be printables. These are Chanami's Rose Design printables, but it can be double side printed, it can be another piece of paper. Book pages are too soft to make this, I have to say. So you can do use book pages because you know me, I, I do uh, project with book pages everywhere so the size of the circle is completely up to you this is double side printed as you can see and it looks more beautiful inside no actually uh, sorry my mistake I glue a piece of paper inside that's why you can see the joints but you can see them from the other side and this is made from a book page but I reinforce it if you can say that with washi tape so I put washi tape to make it more sturdy even though it's still it's too soft so if you do it with book pages be aware that it will be very soft and the size of an envelope it's completely up to you can you see this is really small sorry my nails are happening this is a really small size of it so how will we do it and what will you use is completely up to you you can use a tool you can use a plate you can use a disc, you can use your die cut machine if you have you can even use a big punch you can use a plate, a jar, whatever I'm using a lid because I like the size of it it makes very nice size envelopes it's not too big, it's not too small I'm using a lid, just a lid as you can see here I take one of uh, my printed pages this is one printed, this charming frame is uh, two from Chulani's Rose and I print it and I print it on cardstock it's not a thin photocopy paper, it's a bit heavier and uh, what I do is I check the circle and you can cut from this page that is, you know, a copy page size, a letter size paper you can cut five circles, one in the center and four in the corners so I take a pencil and I draw a circle all around easier, it can be easier than that just drawing a circle all around 
and you have a perfect circle and you can find any circle item that you can want, a lid, a plate, anything, anything that is a nice perfect circle, a cup, a mug, whatever, whatever. Then you will take your scissors, I don't take something more fancy, and cut all around and I try to cut from the inside. I don't take my scissors outside, I take it from the in inner side of the line. So after you cut it, you will uh, need four discs. You can use a CD player, most of uh, people, most of crafters were using CD players to do that. I don't have a CD, a CD, sorry, not CD player, CD. I don't have a disc or a CD, so I'm using something else. So you will need four of those discs. You will take your discs, I have already stressed them around, and fold them in half. And you will fold all your discs in half. After you score all your papers, you will place them in a way you want them. So I want them in this order, the design for the size you can see it while they are standing and the design for the lower and uh, higher and the upper part, you can see it on the correct version. Just, I do it like this, you can do it with whatever you wish. So now we will take our glue. No, this one is empty. We have to take, I prefer glue stick because it doesn't wrinkle the paper. And we will place it like that. And I'm usually using a piece of paper that is very nice cut. So here the corners are very nice cut. You can put a ruler or something just to make sure that the corner is correct. So I will put it like that. and bring it exactly to the corner here, circle, and put glue, glue here on the edge, and also put glue here on the edge. And then I will come and bring the other circle, the other half circle, just on the corner here. So we have a nice corner here. It's 90 degrees. That's the trick that you need the corner to be 90 degrees. That's a trick. So the easiest way is to grab a piece of uh, heavier paper that is cut nicely and you can place that. Then we will cut here and now the trick is uh, your disc, your circles, from one side it will be up and from the other it will be down. So here, for example, for this disc here, this corner it's covered. So this corner will be revealed. So this one will go like this. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Maybe these are very bad. So let me explain it to you. Let, let just see it. So this half circle, from this side it's covered, so the other side will be on top. One side will be underneath and the other side will be on top. I will come again using this as a guide. That's the easiest way I found it for me to work. I use this as a guide. And now we'll need to put glue here. That's my kitty, sorry. And we will need to put glue here. And take this piece of paper, like that. And match it nicely here. Also. Like that. Can you see? So this one is underneath, this is on top. So on this disc, this one is underneath, this will be on top. And now we'll get to the final disc. 
and from this side it must be underneath and from the other side it must be on top like this So this is this piece must be on top. So from this side it will be underneath this piece and from that side it will be on top. So we need to place glue here and here. And now here and here and place the disc like that and match the corners nicely so everything will be glued together and that was our disc it's not it's very easy the only trick is that I did mistake here is to see your designs and what will be on top and what will be underneath so you won't cover because here for example I cover something nice so one side will be on top the other side will be underneath and you will have this result as you can see under top under top under top and goes like this so you will do for your closer the same thing um, exactly the same thing so this will close like that one side will be underneath one side will be on top and the other you will press it like this to close and it looks like a wheel I don't know if I'm making sense so one side on top one side under and press it to close like that and before I glue it I like to go and stress my edges so it will be more dimensional and popping and looking more uh, beautiful so that's the basic structure of our beautiful envelopes and tell me what you think And how you like it this is not straight and that's our basic structure and in upcoming tutorials I will show you how to do two different type of uh, trifles with those so tell me what you think if you have any questions if you need uh, anything else any more instructions it was very 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 easy very very quick uh, envelope it looks it will look amazing in your projects like junk journals and stuff it's I. Uh, you can even use it as in a mini album, for example. You can glue this, and it can open in a mini album or in a journal, or you can just leave it there like that. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Sorry for the noises. I will speak soon. Hugs and kisses. Don't forget share, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell button so you will get notifications and. Uh, give me any tips or advice or tell me what you want me to do in the future. Bye bye, we'll speak soon, hugs and kisses.